Welcome! It is almost the festive season and a lot of the shops have already started putting out their Christmas decorations and I thought it was a good idea to make a string of fairy lights. I'll be using the following 12 LEDs, 12 current limiting resistors, one ULN2803 Darlington transistor array, some jumper wires, a piezo speaker, a breadboard, and an Arduino. To make the string of fairy lights, I used five wires from an Ethernet cable that I destroyed. Before we build the circuit, let's take a look at the code. First off, I declare my variables. The interesting ones being song and pattern. The song stores the tune, in this case it is jingle bells. The pattern stores on and off positions in the bits of the value in the array. The two functions I have will calculate the frequency for the tone function in the loop, switch on or off the LEDs depending on the value passed to the function. In the setup, I set up the pins required to output. I have two loops in the main loop function, a song loop and a silence loop. The song loop will read the data from the song array, play the note using the tone function, then light up the LEDs reading the pattern array. In the silence loop, only the LEDs are lit up. I'm going to start out with a string of lights. I used wire from an ethernet cable and sold three LEDs in parallel four times, making sure to space out the LEDs evenly along the two meters of wire that I had. I soldered the anode of each LED to a single wire, then the cathode of each LED to four separate wires with a resistor of course. I repeated this process three times to get 12 LEDs, then I put header pins on the end of the five wires. This was quite a laborious task to do and it took me a while to get the 12 LEDs along the wires. Now that I've got a string of LEDs, let's head over to the breadboard. First off, connect the positive and ground rails to the breadboard. Place the ULN2308 chip onto the breadboard. The ULN2308 is a transistor array chip. From the data sheet, I can see that pin 1 is an input that turns pin 18 on. Pin 2 turns 17 on, you see the pattern. Pin 9 is ground. Connect pin 9 of the chip to the ground rail. Connect the positive rail to a terminal strip. One strip above pin 18. You will see why in a minute. Connect pin 1 of the chip to pin 3 of the Arduino. 2 goes to 4. 3 of the chip goes to 5. And 4 goes to 6 of the Arduino. Place the LED string onto the breadboard where the common anode wire is connected to the strip connected to 5 volts. The rest of the fairy light pins will go to pin 18, 17, 16 and 15 of the chip. Connect the piezo speaker between two terminal strips. Connect the negative pole of the piezo element to ground and the other end to pin 11. Okay, so I've plugged in my Arduino and it mostly works. I seem to have soldered the header pins of my fairy lights wire incorrectly. I've swapped pin 2 and pin 3 the wrong way around. They're out of sequence. Well, a simple fix is to swap the leads between the chip and the Arduino. I need to swap pins 4 and 5 around. Hey, now I have a string of fairy lights that will remind me that it is the festive seasons. There's a link below to the breadboard view, the schematics and a step-by-step -step instruction if you want to follow it that way. But that's all from me. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye.